it's honestly so exciting to sort of go through this whole process again with the team and I had the opportunity to speak to the athletes and the coaches who attended the pep rally last week and just sort of have had the opportunity to go through my scrapbooks and my photo books and we didn't have like Facebook to post things on back then in 2001 so we had to actually print pictures and I have my albums and everything and just you know sort of going through this experience again and going back and looking at the memories that I have from from my games in 2001 was so fantastic and uh, thanks for that opportunity because I don't go through it very often so it's sort of been great to be a part of this team and I am so excited to watch you all perform at your best and do the, you know, put everything that you've trained to do to the test. Um, a lot of the people that you'll be training with, or sorry, competing against at this games, potentially you could be competing with for Team Canada in the future, and that is what happened to me. There were lots of rowers in 2001 that raced, some I didn't even know about till I looked through my scrapbook last week and uh, recognized that they were also in the pictures with me and sort of just how it sort of comes first full circle when you have that opportunity to race for your province and go and represent Team Manitoba in the black and yellow at, at a national games and then have the opportunity later down the road to race with all these people to represent Canada and wear white and red and be so proud of that opportunity as well. So it's been great. Again, I always have to speak after Jeff who says everything that I want to say <laughs> so I should just replay it back. But, you know, the coaches have such a great effect on their athletes and are really, you know, signing up to be role models and signing up to uh, influence these athletes and these youth in such a positive way. And I just really want to thank you because my coaches, right from when I first started rowing and even in sports before that, really had a huge impact on me and I really took what they said to heart and, you know, really reacted to the things that they told me, whether it was you know, a negative coaching technique that I needed or coaching or thing that I was doing wrong that I needed to fix or things that I was doing well. I really took that to heart and really trusted what they were telling me. And I would not have ever even tried out for the Olympic team without coaches sort of encouraging me to do so and sort of seeing the potential that I had. I knew I had it in me, but I just didn't think that it was enough. And so to have someone else tell you that it is enough and, you know, it is worth the try is what sort of got me to the Olympics and then trying out for the national team in the first place and then ultimately to the Olympics. So, you know, coaches, you really do have a huge impact on your team and thank you so much for dedicating your time and your energy and your enthusiasm to your athletes because they really do benefit from that and being involved in sport as a whole. Uh, the mission staff, obviously they're, you know, on this trip with you and these people behind the scenes, you would not believe what they do. As athletes, you kind of show up and you're ready to race and, and your job is to perform the best that you can but they're also performing the best that they can behind the scenes with everything that they do from getting you where you need to be, figuring out transportation, I mean, even from here with flights and stuff, everything that needs to get done, um, food allergies, I don't even know what else they do because I've never done that role. <laughs> so I'm just the one that shows up and performs and, and makes sure that we can do our best, but that's what their job is and they're doing the best that they can, sort of the staff and the mission staff to make sure that you guys are ready and able to perform and uh, it will be really exciting and I can't believe it's already next Friday that seems like it's flown by in time when I was writing letters in January or February or something uh, sort of anticipating the games coming but it really time does fly and you have one more week of preparation and now's not the time to rest keep going and you know what you're gonna have a fantastic time so enjoy every minute of it and be very loud when you walk into the opening stadium those bells will really help because that was only six of them in this room. <laughs> and I'm also not one to ever turn down a challenge, so I do think that we should do a rendition of Psycho Buffalo. We'll have this half of the room yell Psycho and this half of the room yell Buffalo. On three. One, two, three. Psycho!